Good morning, all evening, friends. Hi, welcome to the mental house. Ain't no sense for me playing. Let me just get right to the uh, conversation. You know, I, I'm starting to get really, really pissed off at how um, sheeple like and how um, really blind, deep, and dumb that we are, be, we are as a as a group. And we're really setting ourselves up for everybody to take advantage of us, which they have, even our own. They go after us. Um, everybody takes advantage of us, which is pretty much evident in how much money we spend in the economy um, and how we produce nothing. But this conversation I'm having now is about one of our own, and it comes with a heavy heart. And I hope this is the last video that I, matter of fact, it is probably the last video I'm going to make concerning this brother and the people who surround um, us and how we perceive leadership okay because out of all the groups I don't see this happening to the Koreans I don't see this happening to uh, any other nationality besides black folks where we are just hell-bent on um, being represented by a leader so with that being said, I got to make this comment because I have made a comment before about Brother Umar Johnson and about what I think about him and not his works and not his speeches because none of that has lessened and my respect for that aspect of his presentation is cool. I don't have any problem with that. But for all you damn ass-kissing, sheeple-ass people, I need to say this, and I'm going to say it one time, because I've been on the planet 50-plus years, and if I can't say what I say, feel now, unhypocritically, and straight to the fucking point, it ain't no sense of me being here, okay? So I'm going to give it to you straight with no goddamn chaser. First of all, Umar Johnson is supposed to be psycho uh, repairing the psychological damage that white supremacy... Uh, that dysfunctional families, that all um, the uh, emotional clusters that have been broken within us, we need psychological help to get us out of it, right? Okay, here's an individual that is representing himself as a psychological doctor, a man of the mind. With, along with that comes a lot of responsibility. Yes, it does. Um, when you begin to study the mind, you begin to learn how to control certain aspects of your mind because that's the reason you're being learned now. If I can't expect no more out of you than I can expect from Ray Ray across the street and you've went to school for some 10 odd years, then you need to throw that goddamn degree in the trash can. Okay? Because if I spend money to get a degree and I still can't read past a kindergartner's uh, a first grade book, then something is wrong with the people who have been letting me get away with this, obviously. And I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be kind of concerned that um, the person is out there representing himself in a way that um, basically doesn't, you know, can't be quantified. Okay? So, what, but with Umar Johnson. What we had, I, I, the first time he had a baby mama drama, I let that go. I, I, I didn't make a video or anything about that because, you know, women, we get into all kinds of tatays, okay, and men. That's, that's just the nature of the game. The second time, raised the goddamn red flag. I'm like, okay, here go the second uh, time. I done heard something about some goddamn women in Omar. Omar still ain't said nothing. Next, lastly, the fucking stripper. Okay, that was the straw that broke my back. And let me just say this first of all, for those of you who say I must be hating on Umar like you do because you're so goddamn sheeple driven. I met Umar about six, seven years ago. Again, I was very turned off, although I bought his book, The Psychological uh, Academic. Hold on one minute. Again. Let me just say, I supported this brother. I met him five years ago, or a little more maybe, um, at the Martin Luther King Center. I wasn't responsible for bringing him here, 
but I was responsible for bringing Frederick Douglass IV and his wife, along with Dr. Greg Brown, who has now passed, along since passed, we brought them to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And this guy, the Dr. Umar Johnson, told me that the, you know that these people were a fraud. After they gave a presentation and Frederick Douglass the fourth uh, talked about you know his experiences his his great 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 uh, grandfather's experiences and things like that so uh, here is a few years later this brother shitted on the whole presentation and, and it really kind of turned my stomach the wrong way however I did not say anything to the point where I, I was disruptive I just and it was the meeting was over so I was like well what do you mean he was a fraud he, he just said, well, they're a fraud. Him and BJ, he's a fraud. Okay, well, it kind of turned me off. I couldn't prove it. I just It just disturbed me. Because we do very well, uh, um, I thought, thorough amount of research. And we brought somebody in, paid them $5,000 or whatever to give a speech. And this dude telling me they're a fraud? That really fucked my head up. Really, and it made me like, who is this motherfucker? Okay, so I'm, matter of fact, let me put my raw hat on, cause see, I I know I'm gonna be ugly, okay? So just gotta make sure. So this is so y'all excuse me, and I also put the lights and the candles on so I can kind of stay grounded, because black people will really work your fucking nerve with our ignorance and our stupidity, and I see why everybody takes advantage of us, because sometimes we are just so crazy that there's, there's this even no explanation. I went to this brother's Facebook page and I couldn't believe what I saw because anybody that has had any kind of experience with psychological work, been in psychological treatment, studied psychological, uh, 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 um, the, the field of psychology, when you go to his page, it looks real spooky, Facebook, it looks like a straight fucking narcissist page, okay, that's the best way I can describe it because I... Being brought up with a bunch of religious people and a bunch of um, imams or uh, preachers, you, after a while, if you really want to heal yourself and you see all the bullshit that's going on with these people and you really decide that you need to heal yourself, you're going to find out that you have been involved with a bunch of narcissists and you're probably going to have to have extensive therapy to get up out of some of the training and the programming that these uh, narcissists have done to you. Okay, so this is what I know by personal experience. Okay, um, for Christ's sake, I'm getting so sick and tired of, of stupid people. To my, all he did was get some pussy. All he did was get some pussy, as if that's the only thing. We are so fucking used to accustomed to thinking from the fucking the, the uh, navel chakra down that we cannot think from the throat chakra up. It's just that simple. For you to minimize this whole thing as he just got some pussy, they're going to show you y'all ain't there. You ain't there because forget about uh, that this person is showing no integrity, no character, no dignity, going around the country pretty much telling single, uh, 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 chastising people and young men or how they treat jump offs and uh, uh, what a single black woman is looking for and how she becomes how she acts when she's psychologically damaged and what you do when you psychologically damage a woman and then you turn around and do the same fucking thing and if that's not bad enough to talk about that you won't have a school with people with natural hair like I got my hair right now see this ain't no weed okay you want to start a school and if you find a school and you find out you're going to keep these people children and if anybody got a weave and all this you don't want them there if they are homosexual you don't want them there and I don't know first of all how you're going to be able to police that shit okay that's number one okay you talk fucking crazy and y'all stupid for even listening because because this is so out of control I got to make a comment say what you want to say just subscribe okay because hmm, I got to get this off this man has got y'all fucking idiots convinced. He, this man is a straight narcissist. I'm one of the very few people that saw Jim Jones. And that's, the characteristics are so similar. 
so fucking similar that it's scary. And so some of y'all young school niggas probably ain't seen Jim Jones, so you don't know what the fuck it looks like. See, I saw him speak in the same charismatic hell. I could have joined the fucking people's temple. Okay? If I believed in group think. So you motherfuckers won't even be individualistic for one minute to think that here's a man that deals with the mind every day. At least you untrust him with your children to build a school. And he got a fucking stripper with a fucking wig on with the same damn uh, bitches that he telling you to stay away from. So, cause see, to me, it's not so much of what the woman did. Because she probably was. I mean, she did that to bring him down. I'm, that's not even a point for me. Sure, there's all kinds of holes and, and shit out here when you're trying to walk a valid path. Okay, so so my beef is not with her. My beef is with this motherfucker because he is the one that wants to control the school. He is the one that shut everybody down because they disagree with him. He is the one that don't want to give no accountability to where the money is. The stupid niggas, when you ask, they got this, the only thing they can say is, "Oh, you a hater? Oh, you a agent? Use a dumb fuck is what you are." Because if I can't ask nobody any questions about some money I gave to them or about the support that I've given them from purchasing their book and giving them money. And I can't say, hey, what's going on with the school? You know, what's the, what, you know, can you show me like a blue, you know, like a blueprint? And all of a sudden everybody get crazy. Do you know how many motherfucking people is using GoFundMe to get the come up? GoFundMe, from what I understand, is totally different than Kickstarter. See, Kickstarter is more, a little bit more accountability. So, and why don't you do the homework and find that out? Uh, Go fund me ain't shit. Okay? Because you ain't getting shit back and I don't have to, there's no accountability whatsoever. Now, there may be some ramifications. I don't know. I haven't looked into if you just, just bullshit somebody totally all in out and get a certain amount of money uh, over a certain amount of money. What happens to that person? I, I'm not really sure. But I do know there's a difference between GoFundMe and Kickstarter. And it's a particular reason why people choose GoFundMe. Okay? Um, when I get ready to do my um, documentary, that's exactly what I'm going to use to help me. I'm going to use GoFundMe. So, um, because it may take longer. Or it may take um, a certain amount of time. So, if, if I use Kickstarter, I will have a little bit more accountability. This is part one.